we are off to Braemar. It's gonna take us two hours and 45 minutes to get to Braemar. It is currently 12.40. We're gonna get there at 3.22 and golden hour starts at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. <laughs> two hours. So in two hours we are hitting golden hour. That is the joy of being in Scotland in winter, but I feel like we might see some snow today and see some other fun bits, so. We're just gonna go for it. The joys of driving out of Glasgow. I wish everybody would just know that at least 40 minutes of your drive is gonna be getting out of the city. We still haven't found any snow. <laughs> How long have we been driving? I don't know, since 10 this morning. And no snow yet on our snow trip. <laughs> Do you think we'll oh, find snow? snow? Down there. Where? Oh no, it's a frozen lake. <laughs> That's nice. For oh, what? There's some snow in that car park. Okay, found a bit of snow. Just a little bit. On the mountains. Getting stressed out. A little bit. No, it's fine. Because you got to do film us being real <laughs> and is normal. That what this is? <laughs> Because yeah. I'm trying to be normal. Yes. And then get nice shots. Yeah. Like beautiful snow stuff and all that. Yes. And then we didn't have snow for most of the day. Yes. So yeah, it's so too complicated. What are we doing now? It's more exciting than that. About to get out of the car. <laughs> to play, do what? <laughs> play in the snow. <laughs> to play in the snow. Or touch some snow. To frolic. To frolic. Over here. Can you even believe this? Gotta go get the jacket on first. Yeah. You're getting some sweet, sweet drone footage? Yeah. Oh shit, <laughs> Brand new camera in the bin. Yeah. Billy is tucked away in the safety of the car, flying the drone. He is very, very warm, very toasty, and I am out here on the freezing. Whoa. <laughs> Told you we need a cramp on. Yeah? We're not putting that on. <laughs> We're definitely putting that on. The biggest pain <laughs> is seeing insanely amazing scenery and having nowhere to pull over to get them. And we have aptly titled that getting photomo, haven't photomo. we? Photomo. When you want to see a photo, but you get FOMO because you can't pull over and see it. So we've had a bit of photo because we just saw this amamazing sunset and temporarily got stuck. It's a bit of time and we're losing light very quickly. <laughs> At four o'clock in the afternoon, it's almost dark, so we need to find somewhere to park, don't we? We need to, we need to find somewhere to sleep. We need to find somewhere to sleep. Well, we have somewhere to sleep in the back, but we have yeah. nowhere to park the sleep machine. <laughs> Day. Big stressful day. Why? Because we got stuck in snow. Yeah. What else were you stressed today? Uh, because I didn't understand how long we had our locations, and I was trying to do everything possible. Yeah. Fly the drone, take pictures, do videos, film that thing. Yeah, and we figured it out. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this is what happens when you travel in winter. You've got this situation, but here's our very unique, one of a kind. Only purchasable at H&M <laughs> doormat. Is that the towel we use for our mate's dog? Yeah, that's why it's covered in dog hair. We take her with us everywhere we go. What are we cooking up tonight? Um, smashed onion cheeseburgers. What are the challenges of cooking in a van kitchen? I don't have my herbs yeah, or we, spices. Well, you made you pre-made your own spice mix though. Yeah. Come on, uh, wench. Not that knife. Bit of here and there with those onions. Yeah. Like this. Lovely. Delicious. And then you have a fabulous little burger in a bowl. Uh, I need you to get out of the way. I'm comfortable. I'll build the mattress over you then. Hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> 
take care of my only fans. Yeah. Only vans. Yes, yes, Welcome to Only Vans, yeah. where we mostly just sleep <laughs> and cook and drink and drink and then go back to sleep some more. Now he's here in the van, and it's time for us to call it a night. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Time for sleep. See you tomorrow. Look at this beautiful day. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? 10 out of 10. Yeah, good sleep. Hot yeah. shower this morning. Hot shower, 10 out of 10 sleep. Yeah. Now I'm making bacon rolls. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. I can smell it. Yep. Van is packed. Yep. We, I think. Uh, where are we going to go? The pyramid. The pyramid. Uh, the great pyramid of Braemar. We're going to try it. It's very, very windy today, but we're going to try go for a 30 minute steep incline. <laughs> That's what the internet says, isn't it? Yeah, Steep so incline. it'll probably take us out. So come along with us for a very wintry, windy, wet and wild day. That was Billy stomping over to me because I didn't use the electric card properly. So basically you get an electric card and you put money on it and you put it into the power plug, um, into the, the or whatever. Um, and then when you leave, you can press a whole bunch of buttons, essentially get a refund if you didn't spend all your money on it. Uh, but we only put five pound on it anyway. So I was like, just leave it, just leave it. But I didn't press any of the right buttons. So now he's having to stomp back <laughs> to the campsite to press all the buttons properly. So sorry, Billy, my beautiful town of Braemar. Lovely, lovely spot. Look at this. So blessed with this amazing snow. We are just gearing up now in the car, getting snow in the eyes um, to go and check out this amazing pyramid of all places at Balmoral State. It was a queen's house in her Scottish residence, um, but it is closed to the public at the moment. So oh, the gates behind us are all closed off and it's, the visitor center is closed, but we are here just to explore at our own leisure and enjoy the snow. And we're gonna go for a walk, I think down there um, and just see if we can find this pyramid. And if not, we're just gonna go for a lovely walk. So let's see how we go. zoom lens to get them but that's all right but can we just appreciate this let's find his cairn shall we up the road up the road, up the road. best walks I think we've ever been on. So beautiful. Walking sticks are out. We're a little bit more unfit than we thought we were. <laughs> Maybe. Not putting that on YouTube. That's going straight on YouTube. Everyone needs to know how super unfit we are. Is that better? So the walk up here is pretty straightforward, albeit up a little slant of a hill, I will call it. And Billy and I have not been out for a walk or anything like that for ages. Because it's been winter, we've been indoors, we've become very solitary. Uh, but this walk was so achievable, so doable, um, really easily accessed as well, just from Balmoral Estate, even though it's closed at this time of year. Uh, you can just park down the car park and then walk your way up here. But half an hour, 45 minutes to an hour if you're like us and we like to stop for photos every five minutes. Um, but so worth it 
for, oh, completely lost focus. <laughs> so worth it for this amazing spot. Uh, something that you never thought that you would see in Scotland. So let's go and explore it. All right, what do we think? Incredible. Really cool? Yes. One of the coolest things you reckon we've seen? Definitely need to come back. I think we definitely need to come back. Lovely skies, I did get a little bit busy in the last 10 minutes. Worth it. So worth it. Really, Everyone really beautiful. Needs to see it. I rate it 10 out of 10. Best pyramid in Scotland. <laughs> I wish you could set the GPS to please don't take me on a mental road. <laughs> Just to take me the most direct way that doesn't involve me being on top of a mountain where the sun snow is flying in sideways. Why literally? We just stopped for a little coffee at Tarmac and Cafe. It's just over here, and I love this building. I love this cafe. It's so, so freaking nice. So, if you're ever on this route, highly recommend stopping for lunch. We have things to see, don't we? Yes, Got places we do. to be. Off we go. We're going for an hour and a half drive to Pit Lockery and then see if we can make it to Speed Bridge tonight. Yeah. So, here we go. I reckon. Let's go. We're going to attempt to do a bit of drone flying whilst we're here in Glen Shee, which but it is a bit windy. So we're going to see <laughs> how Billy feels about this. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> Trying to go to a castle, couldn't get to the castle. Decided to come to Pit Lockery, decided we didn't want to stay at Pit Lockery. And now we are in Fort William. We're at the Ben Nevison for dinner tonight. There's some live music happening at 8 pm. So excited. We're here for some dinner and some live music, and then we're camping up for the night in Fort William uh, so that we can go straight to Ben Crow tomorrow. So excited. Same as you, but with chips, because I don't eat much. Chicken and ham is Morning, what's for breakfast? A uh, hash brown <laughs> because we're in a rush, aren't we? Well, is that because we were freezing our tents off last night? We were very cold last night. We left the tent up at the top thinking, wow, oh, a bit of air will be nice tonight. Pretty much air. And the heater turned off. And it hit minus six. <laughs> but mainly because we didn't want to get up early, earlier. It's 8 a.m., 8.30 right now, the sun's not up. But we want to try and get a sunrise around Glen Coast. Just having a little cheeky Maccas. This is a rarity, FYI, guys. We usually always, always cook in the van, but you know what? We're on holidays. Who cares? Stop, which is just near Glenetive, Glenetive, um, and where are we going? Glenetive Moor. Glenetive Moor, which is Billy's most favourite mountain in the entire world, and we have photographed it 10 million times. More. But it's his favourite time. So we're going back at beautiful first light, and we're going to get some pretty nice stuff, I reckon. I reckon. What are you going to do? Got to get the Billy. Yeah. I've got no time for you. <laughs>
So Billy loves to come back to the same place over and over again so that we can keep refining and getting better shots. Um, and so we're back here, as I just mentioned, at Bocality Mall and getting some really beautiful stuff. You can see him out there <laughs> doing his thing. Um, I'm definitely the kind of person who kind of gets a shot and then just likes to just chill and enjoy the moment, but he is a technical wizard so he likes to take his but we get the beautiful shots because of it so it's a little bit of insight between the difference of Billy and I but yeah we do get some beautiful beautiful shots because he takes his time with it which is really really lovely we are just getting our gear ready to go and shoot the beautiful Glen Etter last time we were here was like two years ago and unfortunately last time we were here it was full of trash so many people had left so much rubbish because you can actually camp down here but it's really lovely to come back and see no trash the ice is literally cracking and melting you can hear it popping, so it'll be very quiet for a second, so you can hear it pop. Isn't that light? Heavy, heavy lens. Nah, it's fine. Oh it's your baby. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> well, we just stopped at the Glen. Oh god, Glencoe? Glencoe Visitor Centre. Just to ask for some advice, which FYI, they're super super helpful here in telling you like what walks you can make and giving really good routes and stuff. So we just spoke to Matt at the Glencoe Visitor Centre. Absolute legend. Legend, thank you very much Matt. And has just instructed us on a really lovely 25 minute walk, well, probably about an hour, to go see a really beautiful viewpoint of the Three Sisters in Glencoe. Uh, and it is very wintry as you know at the moment, so we're just gonna see how we take you along for the ride on this lovely little walk that we're gonna go on this beautiful winter's day where the visibility is so clear. We are gonna go and make the most of it. We've got the kit. Yeah. We're going up there. Going up there. We're not going up there, we're going to see that. We're going to go see that. Yes. Fabulous. And so we've far. We've been up there in the middle in summer, so yeah. we're not doing it now. We're, now. So we're completing it. We're so, so far enjoying the walk. Yeah. Vibin. Loads of fun. Man's vibin. Yes, he is. All right, let's go. Keep rolling. Work it. Work those hips. Work those sticks, boy. <laughs> we have made it to this insane viewpoint, haven't we? Yes, we have. And it's half an hour to get up, which was the recommended amount of time, so I'm proud of us for that. <laughs> it is insane. Oh, gorgeous afternoon light. And easy. We think it is time for some whiskey, some wine, some beers, and camping up in the wild tonight, which is going to be an absolute vibe. We've just parked up for our camping spot. Have we picked somewhere all right? It will do. It'll do. It will do. Seem better. Yeah. yeah. We didn't just stake it out for like the last yeah. 10 minutes waiting for people to leave so we could have it. No, we definitely nope. not. So good morning. Last night our heater stopped working, which has never ever happened in the van before. We take them out all the time and we've never ever lost the heat. But last night we lost the heat and it was absolutely freezing. It was minus three <laughs> last night. So we had every single layer on possible. We had our coats on, jackets, two layers of socks. Like literally we had everything on just to stay warm. But we managed to survive through the night despite the cold. We also even saw Glencoe Mountain Rescue up on Bookalative Moor. Uh, last night we found out that some people some people weren't climbing yesterday because the conditions were so lovely. and some Somebody had an injury and they got stuck so the mountain rescue were up there last night really amazing to see that incredible service like Glencoe Mountain Rescue I have so much respect for them they're a volunteer association as well it's amazing to see them out doing their thing last
last night and just helping these people. Uh, so it felt like a very first world problem that the heating in our van didn't work last night when there were literally people just stuck on a mountain. Grateful that we had somewhere to sleep last night <laughs> and we had all the layers that we had and today we are taking the van back. It's time to go home. We've had an incredible, incredible journey and yeah, it's just been really lovely to spend a bit of time together, taking our time shooting and just soaking up all the vibes that this beautiful part of Scotland has to offer. So we can't wait to see you guys for the next vlog, the next installation of our travels. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching and we will be back very soon.